Hello, 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 lovely beaders! Today I have for you this beautiful beaded bracelet, very dimensional, with a design that resembles the poinsettia flower, the flower traditionally connected to Christmas celebrations. Keep watching to learn how to bead this bracelet for yourself. And here we have our beautiful poinsettia bracelet. The structure of the bracelet is made around a double right angle weave base made on eight O's and then on top of the unit we build up uh, the bicone component. We use 80 seed beans, 6 mm bicones, and 11 o seed beads, and the usual lobster clasp. Let's start our First, the uh, double right angle weave unit where we also include the closed ring for the brace, the clasp. So we pick up four eight toes and close the ring. Now we move the thread up the next bead after the knot and we add four seed beads in between two consecutive beads from the base circle. Being the circle where we have the clasp, uh, I recommend to reinforce by going back a few times. After you have reinforced for the clasp, we make our second double right angle weave and this is how we bead for the rest of the length. To get a double right angle weave. So pick up four seed beads, go through the one in the corner of the first right angle weave, move the thread one bead up and then add three beads for the corners of the next double right angle weave. And obviously the first bead from the corner where we started this is common to the both um, units. And uh, to start our bracelet I recommend we leave at least, we make at least two units. And in the third unit, around the third unit, we start the flower component. You can flip the work over, so uh, it's convenient for you. The thread path.
and now we can start to build up our flower component. Now for the flower component with the thread coming out of one of the corners and just for you to know so here we have what I call the corners along, along the length of the bracelet and these are the perpendicular ones so when we have the thread coming out of one of the corner beads we pick up one six millimeter bicone and we add two seed beads 11 O's drop the beads skip the seed beads go back through the bicone and and go back through the base making a circle so from the opposite direction where the thread came out okay and now we continue now we make sure that the seed beads sit horizontally on the top of the bicone and now, now we finish the embellishment of the bicone bead so the thread comes out this way we pick up one two three four five six and seven eleven o's and go up one of the eleven o's from the top now when we have a bead that is along the length of the bracelet on top of these two seed beads we add three a loop made out of three seed beads and go back down the second 11 0 and now we complete uh, the embellishment around the 11, uh, 6 millimeter bicone with 7 11 O's 2, 4, 6, 7 and complete the circle around the base bead okay pull well the threads and now we move the thread through the double right angle with base unit to the next corner the next corner will be a perpendicular one and we pick up our six millimeter bicone two eleven o's go back down skip the two go back down the six millimeter and finish the circle and now we finish the embellishment and we have one two three four five six and seven go up and because here we have a bead that is perpendicular we pick up only one seed bead over the two on top of the bicone and now we end with another loop of seven two three four five six and seven and we close the bead and then we move the thread 
to the next. After we have finished the second petal, let's call it, we move the thread to the third corner bead and we pick up again a 6 millimeter bicorn to 11 O's, drop the beans, skip the bicorn, finish the circle around the base bead. and seven seed beads one two three four five six and seven go back up one of the seed beads and as the third one is along the length we pick up three seed beads for the top go down the next seed bead and then again seven one two three four five six and seven Go down the base bead and now we move our thread to the last corner. And we repeat the same step. And let's work together the last one where we have a perpendicular petal. We just pick one seed bead for the top. And then seven on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And here we have finished our first Ponsetia flower. To make the next component, we have first to extend the base um, band of double right angle weave and then to create another component on top of one of the units. So, I usually turn the work on the other side and I make sure that I position the thread out of one of the corners along the length of the bracelet. And I will use that corner as the starting point of a new double right angle weave, but just a plain one. Okay, so this is the back, and I just pick up four eight O's. and build up the unit. So move the thread one up and add three corner beads. One and two and the third. And now we move the thread to the opposite um, 
corner beads so we can continue creating the length we need. As you can see, the size of one petal is roughly the size of one double right angle weave. So if we want to continue, we have to add in my design, I have added one, two, three plain double right angle weave um, units then on the fourth I have started to add the flower and the only difference for the following flowers is that we are going to connect with the previous one on the top bead of the cluster of or the loop of three from the last petal that uh, goes over the band. So here I've uh, made of the camera one, two, three, four units and with the thread coming out of one of the corner beads we just um, uh, start another flower. And now I'll show you how we make the connection considering that the next flower is going to be worked exactly the same like the first one. The only difference is this, uh, where this connection happens. So let's pick up our um, bicone, two eleven O's, go back through the bicone and through the base. And now let's pick up seven eleven O's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Go up one of the eleven O's from the two on top of the bicone. We pick up one seed bead, connect with the top one from the previous petal that is along the length of the bracelet and then one more seed bead to make the cluster of three and then go down one and then we add seven seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with this we finish the embellishment around the bicone. We move the thread to the next corner and now we are ready to continue with our second flower. So this is how we make the connection between flowers. And just a quick one more petal here on the side. And this is how you just continue with our component. Now, after we have uh, beaded the length uh, we need for our bracelet. We just make sure that uh, the other side of the clasp we bead maybe the same number of units, like two units, after we finish our component and make sure that in the last unit we catch our closed ring, which is the start of our lobster clasp. I hope you like this bracelet, it is extremely, extremely beautiful and uh, as you know, I really enjoy the 3D, the 3D aspect of uh, 
the beading work. So uh, I hope you are well inspired for this Christmas. Thank you for watching. See you with our next tutorial. Ciao, ciao.